Welcome back. So if you didn't know, I watch a lot of YouTube. And lately on YouTube, everyone has been talking about artificial intelligence, how it's going to change the world, and change every aspect of our lives. Naturally, being a product designer, I started asking myself, will AI take my job? Stupid. So I set off on a little journey to find out if it's currently possible or will be possible to design a product start to finish with artificial intelligence. After trying dozens of AI programs, I've come to the conclusion that there are a couple of AI thingies that are super useful and possibly automate parts of the design process and some overhyped gimmicks. Since there's a lot of tools and this is a pretty deep topic, I decided to split this up into multiple videos that focus on each part of the design process. So design research, creating concepts, detailing out products, engineering, and manufacturing. Today, we'll be jumping into the wild world of design research and if it's possible to automate this with artificial intelligence. As usual on some great things, we will be designing a product along the way. You'll see what it is. Just watch. I found that you can jumpstart the research process by chatting with the internet's favorite language model, chat GDP. No, chat GPT. Yeah, that's right. Let's start out this journey by asking ChatGPT what to design. And yeah, I think it got some good ideas, but let's totally ignore that and just do a garden speaker because that sounds fun. So we can ask it who a target group would be for a garden speaker design. And it'll give us some pretty good ideas. Homeowners, obviously. Fitness and yoga enthusiasts. That's an interesting one. I didn't think of that. That's cool. Those are good ideas. I didn't think of those. And we can ask it what some unsolved needs are. And we get some ideas. These are kind of more, I would say, features rather than needs. We can ask about some sustainability opportunities because that's always important. Eco-friendly power. Hey, that makes sense to me. It sounds like it knows what it's talking about a little bit. And we can ask about what some new technology. High-res audio support. Hey, that's pretty context specific. And if we're lazy, we can even ask it to summarize everything above for us, which you know we are. And we get a nice little summary of all the research we've gotten in a few paragraphs. Hold up. If you haven't used chat GPT before, it can seem like this is a magical robot that knows everything. However, after using it a bit and also talking to other people about their experiences i think chat gpt is really good at writing things that appear plausible but aren't necessarily true apparently i'm not the only one that noticed this and the company behind chat gpt put this little disclaimer below the chat window i also found a study that claims chat gpt can fact check correctly about 72 percent of the time which isn't bad but it's not really great if you had a friend that just said BS a quarter of the time, I think you wouldn't really believe them that much. However, in my experience, I think the accuracy has been a little higher than three quarters of the time, but there's definitely some responses that I've read that I'm pretty sure are true. Overall, ChatGPT, great tool for jumpstarting and ideating within research, but everything needs to be fact-checked and filtered before moving forward. Way to go, robots. Besides ChatGPT, there are a couple of user research-specific AI tools I found. The first one is one of the more creepy AI language models I've seen. It's called synthetic users. Like the name explains, synthetic users essentially creates artificial people that you can use to test product ideas. You basically give it a problem, a target audience, and if you want, a proposed solution, and it will generate some synthetic interviews with users that simulate feedback that you would get in a real life user interview. Let's try adding in some of the info we got from ChatGPT. Homeowners who are also music enthusiasts, We'll just add in some quick needs in there and proposed solution. And as you can see, we got some generated interviews. And we can even generate a summary of everything and get the key takeaways. So the results are pretty great and match what I've seen with past user interviews. And they even bring up some points I wouldn't have thought of. However, like with ChatGPT, all our responses seem plausible, but it could all just be total false fabrication that doesn't really connect with reality. I also get this weird sense that the AI is writing what it thinks I want to hear. Like this is the response that I would expect from a user interview and that's why the AI wrote it. In any case, this is a really cool tool to get some quick fake interviews, but I would definitely be cautious before moving forward with any of this information. Coco is a really cool tool I found for creating user research documents. Coco, quo quo, 
Quaqua? Coco. I'm going to go with Coco. Coco is actually a plugin for Figma that helps you create design research tools like product briefs, personas, and user journeys that you can use in later design stages. I think it's really meant to be used as a UX tool, but it seems to work fine for physical products as long as there's some kind of digital component to the system. It's so like a smart speaker or something like that. I'm not really sure if this would be appropriate for something like 100% physical products like chairs or shoes or those kinds of things. So we can generate a product brief. We could generate some personas and generate some user journeys. We have a product brief. I guess that's what this would be. It's basically just got some challenges and risks for our products, but those are good. We can use them as input. The user persona is actually pretty extensive. We didn't even give it that much information, but the AI generated it. Motivations, which is really nice, and frustrations, which is really cool. We even get this very detailed user journey on the buying process for a garden speaker which is pretty good. And we can dive into some of the details here and see like, some of these opportunities that we have in each phase, the pain points, mindsets, tasks. Really cool. To be honest, all this stuff looks pretty plausible, what's in here. I'd have to go through and look at everything very detailed to say for sure or not, but it looks pretty good. Like it's not bad. Same concerns as before, can be totally unrelated to reality, but even if it is, this is a great template to start off with and you can go through and modify and update everything with your own validated research. Obviously, there's a lot of great tools that can help you in the design research process, but to come back to our main question, can AI automate design research? On a scale of AI being completely useless to AI completely automating this part of the design process, I would give it currently a three out of five. So that would be a, no, it's not stealing your job, but it's pretty good. You can use these tools to get some quick ideas on research areas, and to be honest, the results are pretty good. But there's still a lot of heavy lifting and fact checking. If I was investing my own time or money into this, I would spend a lot of time fact checking pretty much everything that came out of one of these tools. But to be fair, not all human created research is 100% accurate, so at least it's a good starting point. Lastly, I'm not really sure, but I think AI is a missing component of intuition. I personally use the research process to find opportunities that I emotionally connect with and I could see being great design later on. Being able to empathetically connect with the research and translate that into a design seems to be missing at the moment, but that could be just me wishing that there's some human thing that AI can't do that maybe it could do. Don't know. So AI is currently not stealing design research jobs, but what about in the future? Based on the huge potential for improvement, I predict that in the future, AI will have a four out of five on the steal your design research job scale. The problem with fact checking and AI does seem to be solvable. Apparently OpenAI updated the fact checking on ChatGPT4, and it's likely it'll get better in the future. And while the quality of the results are good now, it's likely they'll get even better. To understand why, you need to understand how AI works. AI relies on huge data sets to feed into these language learning models. That's one reason why ChatGPT works so well, is that there's a gigantic amount of information available on, on the internet about basically everything. It's likely that these AI models will only continue to train and learn from these data sets. Adding to this is the large amount of feedback each individual AI tool is getting. Large amount of users have allowed companies like TikTok and Facebook to create incredibly addicting pieces of software. ChatGPT also has an insane amount of users, so it's likely that OpenAI will be able to develop and improve this software just like larger tech companies before it. So in summary, AI can really speed up your design research process and maybe even come close to automating in the future. Do you think AI is going to steal your job? Is there any tools I missed? Let me know. That's it for part one of this video series. Stay tuned as I explore the automating of the design process with artificial intelligence in future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!